When you open PPSSPP for the first time after the installation, it will ask you where do you want to save your PSP data. This is an important folder because it's where we place our textures. It's recommended that you choose the first option and create a folder for the PSP data in your root folder. If you're already using the first option, you can skip to the next chapter of this video. In the second option, the PSP data is stored in the Android data folder that you can only access using a PC or a manager, file manager that can access that folder or that data folder. If you chose the second option, you can still revert back to the first one in PPSSPP. And to do that, go to the PPSSPP settings, then go to system and scroll down to PSP to PSP memory stick and tap on memory stick folder then choose the first option tap the OK button now I'm going to choose a folder or I'm going to choose my documents folder you can choose whatever folder that you want and save it anywhere that you want use this folder allow PPSSVP to access your documents or your folder documents. Now press the OK button or tap on the OK button. And this will start copying the files or in this case, moving the files to your new folder. And now that we can access our folder, we can place the texture pack inside of the folder. We now have to download a texture pack you can download whatever texture pack that you want i'm downloading textures from the PPSSPP forums i'll leave a link on the description below and for this tutorial i'm going to download texture pack for the monster hunter freedom unite game When you download the texture pack, make sure you are downloading for the same region as your game. There are some texture packs that work in other regions, but may have some problems. Then go to your downloads folder or to where you have downloaded them. You probably have to extract them because they come in a zip file usually. extract this may take a while after extracting the texture pack search for the folder with the game id which this in this case it's ul us 10391 then copy this folder now go to your psp folder or P PSPP folder PSP folder then go to the textures folder and place or copy or move here or to here if you downloaded a texture pack that doesn't have the game ID on it then you have to search for the game ID you can go to serial station and search for the game and then copy the game ID or in this case it's the internal ID. Copy the ID then go to the texture folder. Create a new folder. And then paste the game ID or copy the game ID without the iPhone. In this case, I already have one. And then you copy the textures and place them inside the folder with the game ID. Then go to PPSSPP. Go to settings then go to tools, go to the developer tools and make sure replace textures is on. Then start the game and a notification will show that the textures pack or the texture pack 
is active. And that's it. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.